Live from home, it's a Bulldog TV News special report. Good afternoon, Bulldogs. I'm Corey. And I'm Erin. Welcome to this week's Bulldog TV News special report. Our staff is assembled from their homes and ready to relay some news to the Bulldog family this Sunday afternoon. First off, all Bulldogs, if you have not yet purchased your yearbook, please do so. Annual staff has worked very hard over their school year to make sure your yearbook is the best that it can be. Unlike many schools around the nation, your yearbook is almost done being made and will be available for distribution. Bulldog TV is currently releasing episodes of Bulldog Bachelor. The Bulldog Bachelor aired in the spring of 2017 and was filmed at places like the Broadmoor. Episode 1 through 6 are out right now. It's hard to believe, but this Wednesday, they will be releasing the season finale. So we finally get to find out who wins. Be sure to stay tuned for that. Over the course of our break from Centennial, many students have continued in the Bulldog tradition of putting Centennial High School on the map. Here are some of our students' recent accomplishments that have been announced. Congratulations to Chaz Vigil and Allison Sparks for being announced Centennial's Mr. and Miss C. Also, congrats to Neela Ropp, Grace Severson, Louis Martinez, and Francisco Chavez for being in the running for Mr. and Miss C. Chaz's accomplishments as a Bulldog include three years varsity tennis, four years varsity golf, three years varsity basketball, four years varsity baseball, a three-time golf state qualifier, SCL golfer of the year, two-time tennis state qualifier, one-time state baseball qualifier, one-time state basketball state qualifier, tennis regional champion, two-time baseball SCL team member, and one-time All-State Ban. All-State Baseball, sorry. Allison's achievement as a Bulldog include four, four varsity cross country, three years varsity basketball, four years varsity soccer, three years first team SCL soccer, two years SCL defensive MVP, three years SCL champion soccer, three years state qualifier in soccer, and quarterfinals state placer. Congratulations to Timo Perez to being appointed to the United States Naval Academy. This is a huge accomplishment. Congratulations to Justin Schur, Jolie Doe, and Maya Mays Johnson. Justin and Jolie have earned the partial Hurleman Scholarship. Maya has earned the full four-year Hurleman Scholarship. Justin will be attending Vanderbilt, Jolie will be attending Columbia, and Maya will be attending the Colorado School of Mines. Congratulations to three Bulldogs. These three Bulldogs have grown very close to each other over their four years of high school. But their bond of soccer will always be a huge part. Dylan Aragon has committed to play men's soccer for, U for Eastern New Mexico. Harrison Coltrip has committed to attend and play men's soccer for Otero Junior College. And Francisco Chavez has committed to attend and play men's soccer for Trinidad State College. Centennial Cyberdogs competed over the weekend of April 17th through the 19th in the National Cyber League Silver Division. They, were, they finished 95th out of 278 in their team division, which is top third in the nation, and 213 out of 931 teams overall. They competed against national colleges and in universities, including CSUP and PCC. Congratulations to Rachel Appenzeller and Joshua Thatcher for being recognized by the Masonic Lodge and Eastern Star Chap Chapter of Pueblo County as outstanding juniors. Eleven Centennial High School students were selected to attend the Rocky Mountain Youth Leadership Foundation Conference for 2020. The eleven students were Adrian Sheriff, Hallie O'Connor, Alexa Aguari, Kyla Garcia, Brandon Hill, Sonora McIntyre, Annika Escalera, Analia DeGrado, Kira Davis, Kyla Garcia, and Sheila Ta. Congratulations to these students. Their artwork will be in this year's Colorado Kids Create Books. I am very sorry if I butcher your name. Adriana Barardo, Caitlin Scott Gomez, Angelique Vigil, Delicia Apodaca, Miana Aragon, Yureli Correo Zamron, Danielle Ritcon, Ariana Woodford, Abby O'Dell, Kaylee Kinley, Patrick Scott Barardo, and Lillian Walker. That was a lot, but it just goes to show that even in a global pandemic, nothing can stop Centennial Bulldogs from doing some amazing work. Before we check in with Greg, we have a few more announcements, the first coming from Ms. Smith. If you have not picked up your elective social studies class yet, 
Take AP Human Geography. You will learn about the human connection and the impact on the Earth. Our topics will include population and migration, culture, politics, and world development in rural and urban areas. We learn about current trends that are happening globally. This coming year, 2020-2021, will be a truly fascinating year to follow these trends. She would love to have you join her in AP Human Geography. The class is open to all grade levels. Also, there will be an opportunity to get college credit or loud credit for your advanced diploma. If you have any questions, please email her at holly.smith at pueblocityschools.us. Email your counselor if you feel like this class is for you. Lastly, but certainly not least, we have some news regarding the German program at Centennial. Due to circumstances, our exchange partner school in Germany was rescheduled for next year. The German students will visit for three weeks after spring break, so you will get to meet them in your classes. Our trip to Germany will take place in the summer of 2021 with three weeks in host families and a trip to Salzburg in Munich. You can participate by hosting a German student, going to Germany, or both. Go to Germany. To go to Germany, you will have to be enrolled in a German class next school year and have good behavior and attendance. We will have informational meeting in the fall, but if you want to know more right now, please email Ms. Mooseberger. Now, to get to your weather forecast, here's your weatherman, Greg. Good day, Bulldogs. I'm Greg with your weekly weather update. Sunday, we're going to be starting off with a high of 80 and a low of 46. Monday, we're going to be warming up slightly to a high of 83 and a low of 51. Tuesday, we're going to be staying relatively the same with a high of 83 and a low of 45. And Wednesday, we're going to be cooling down just a bit to a high of 80 and a low of 49. Well, that's all I have for weather, so let's end it over to Corey. Thanks, Greg. Now here's your entertainment report with Tressa Torres. Hey Bulldogs and welcome back to Bulldog Entertainment. I hope your past week went well. For your movie of the week we have Tango and Cash, a 1989 film that stars Sylvester Stallone as Ray Tango and Kurt Russell as Gabriel Cash. Two cops find themselves being framed for a crime they didn't commit by a crime lord who wants them out of the way so he can continue to commit his crimes. Now they must clear their names before it's too late. The song of the week is Level of Concern by 21 Pilots, the actor of the week is Dacre Montgomery, and the actress of the week is Kate Blanchett. That's all I have for Bulldog Entertainment this week. I hope that you guys have a wonderful week and stay safe and healthy. This is Tressa Torres from Bulldog TV. Erin? Thanks, Tressa. There have been some pretty interesting stories to come out of the world of sports this week. So with more on that, here is Gabe Vito. Hello Bulldogs, thank you again for joining us. The NFL veteran tight end Rob Gronkowski has recently come out of retirement to reunite with Tom Brady due to the Patriots trading Gronk to Tampa Bay for a fourth round pick in the NFL draft. How crazy is that? This week, the MLB has announced the reprimands that will be made against the Boston Red Sox and the Houston Astros who have been made the news recently in surrounding the sign stealing scandal. The Astros have suspended general manager Jeff Lundhau and fired manager AJ Hinch, lost a first and second round draft picks in the 2020 and 2021 drafts, and were also fined $5 million. The Red Sox have suspended former manager Alex Cora for the 2020 season, and their replay operator has been banned through the 2020 playoffs. The Red Sox have also lost a 2020 second round draft pick as a result. Providing you with your weekly sports update, I'm Gabe Vigil from Bulldog TV. Stay safe out there, Bulldogs. Here's Corey. Thanks, Gabe. Now here's your national news update with Lorenzo Roman. Everything that's been going on, I thought I'd share some more lighthearted stories of people stepping up and helping to do their part to help people through this current situation. In Rotterdam, New York, a group of trained airmen and soldiers sat in its call center for weeks, taking more than 118 calls. 
of concerned citizens asking about the coronavirus. And in Aurora, Colorado, many members of the Air National Guard's 140th Wing Aircrew Flight Equipment Shop stopped making parachutes and started using their specialized sewing skills for more than 500 face masks. The National Guard has also been doing things such as bagging test kits or helping sanitize elderly care units. It's things like this that really shows how humanity can come together in a time of need. That's all I have today for you now on National News Bulldogs. So reporting to you from Bulldog TV, I'm Lorenzo Roman. Aaron. Thanks, Lorenzo. It's always amazing to see what people can step up and accomplish when others are in times of need. Now let's learn more about the sources of strength helping out with counseling department today. Here's Maya Mays Johnson. Hi Bulldogs, it's Maya. I hope you're all staying safe and healthy during this strange time. Sources of Strength's topic for this week is positive friendships. So what is a positive friend? A positive friend is going to be somebody who encourages you and supports you, somebody who you can learn from one another, and somebody who accepts you as your true and total self. So how can you stay connected with these friends during this time? There are multiple options, two of the most popular being FaceTiming or staying connected via social media. But there are other options. Take Netflix Party, for example, an application in which you can watch Netflix movies with your friends. Some of the ways I've been staying connected with my friends has been through playing Club Penguin. So there are so many options. Going back to social media, however, there are two accounts which you should be following, at Sea Dog Counselors and at Centennial Sources of Strength. You can tag or send photos of yourself participating in Sources of Strength activities to these accounts in order to show off your school spirit. So make sure to go and do that. I hope you are all doing well. Bye. Thanks, Maya. Now to finish it here today, let's get some tea. Here's your Hollywood Gossip Update with Ashley and Miranda. Bulldogs. Hey guys, I hope everyone's doing good. Well, listen up, Bulldogs. So I'm sure all of us have TikTok or at least know who Jojo Siwa is. Well, the dancer, or whatever you want to call her, posted a TikTok where her hair finally wasn't in a high pony with a bow. We've all been waiting for this day. What's up, Bulldogs? Now, I don't know how many of you were obsessed with the movie series Twilight. Well, the infamous Edward Cullen, played by the one and only Robert Patterson, is now going to be our new Batman. Unfortunately, filming has been stopped due to COVID-19. I'm still Team Jacob. Okay guys, this is the only thing on the Kardashians, I promise. Well, Kylie Jenner was just seen all barefaced with her BFF out in town, despite telling her fans to stay home. Hypocrite much? So guys, I'm sure we all know Chris Hemsworth. <laughs> So guys, I'm sure we all know Chris Hemsworth in Thor from the hit series The Avengers. Well, the star just released a statement saying that he that he feels like Hollywood is literally suffocating him and he can't stand movie obsessed LA. So sad. And that's the Tea Bulldogs. That's all we have for you this week, but we look forward to seeing you next Sunday afternoon in our fifth special report. Please remember to stay safe and healthy out there. So from all of us here at Bulldog TV, Stay, Stay classy, 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 classy. classy.